Hello and welcome to our Toronto. What does home mean to you? A new exhibit aims to expand our idea of what we call home. It showcases the work of Toronto photojournalist Neil Ever Osborne. He's captured incredible images in every corner of the world. But his work also comes with a message of conservation. After 15 years working as a photojournalist, I'm opening my first fine art exhibit entitled Home. And it's a collection of works, uh, 22 in total, that really aims to examine this link between people and planet. Uh, it's an opportunity to start a conversation about the environment. For Neil Ever Osborne, it's this image that started it all. A sea turtle resting on a plastic bottle on a beach in Costa Rica. And that image ended up having a very unexpected outcome. It got published on the back of a postcard in China and distributed to close to 12,000 students as part of a Plastics in Our Oceans campaign. And so experiencing that, I, I really, really found a way to appreciate that images could be put to work for conservation. That was back in 2006. He's been traveling the world ever since, taking photographs in places many will never get to, but aiming to show how connected we really are. So the work is really an attempt to demystify the foreignness of, of natural worlds uh, and to replace the idea of environment with a concept that's perhaps more accessible to all of us, that's perhaps more relatable. And, uh, and that idea is a healthy home. Home is such a universal word. Uh, it creates a universal feeling. Uh, I think it's often difficult to appreciate how connected we are to these wild places because they're so far away. So how do we make them relatable? How do we make them accessible? And how do we find a way to uh, tell audiences and inform audiences that we're all connected to all of this? We're all connected to this. A healthy planet means we're going to be healthy. And so it's such an important narrative to be talking about. A conversation he hopes to spark about the beauty that still exists in the most remote places on the planet and the value in protecting it. There's a lot of doom and gloom in the conversation about the environment and what I want to remind people about is there's lots of wild places that uh, are still left that we can celebrate. We're all connected to these wild places. Uh, an unhealthy planet has an effect on us and so uh, the home exhibit is an attempt to uh, really shine a light on those wild places that remain, but also humanity's proximity to it. Uh, we're ever present. So how are we going to manage these wild places moving forward? And this exhibit aims to bring the narrative to a new audience. It's the first time his photographs have been on exhibit in a fine art gallery. And it comes with an added experience for those who attend. How we make these images is becoming such an interesting thing to be talking about. And so what we're doing in the home art show is taking viewers behind the scenes through this augmented reality experience. Um, can I show you how it works? Yeah, I'd love to see. Uh, we've got an iPad here that we're going to have in the gallery. We'll press enter to enter the app and you camera comes up. Okay. And so I'll walk you over to one of the images that's going to trigger the augmented reality. Uh, if you move your device over that image, uh, what you're going to see is it triggers some behind the scenes storytelling. I tell stories. So what are we seeing here? In this particular case, this is the Falkland Islands where I made that picture of the penguin. This is a 360 experience of that beach where I made the image. In this case, you can walk around you can experience the Falklands in 360 immersion. So this is as if we were right there with you. You bet, that's the intent, is to take viewers into the Falkland Islands where I made those images of the penguins. Incredible. I found a tide pool. It looked like they were using it as a bath, and so I'm taking viewers into wow. that same space, and you can get this intimate experience with these rockhopper penguins in the Falkland Islands. So this is an image that I made in Ecuador. And so people are off, often asking, how do we get to these places? How do, we, how do we get on assignment? How do we take those pictures in the field? And so this image is triggering a time lapse of the boat we took to get into the jungle where we made that picture. How about you give it a go I on this last to. one? Okay. Yeah. 
I can't wait. Okay. Yeah, so all so of it's pretty simple, I guess, right? Really simple. Use the iPad and you're going to get a little closer to trigger that image. There's the turtle. And through this augmented reality experience, I'm taking you to that beach where I made the image of the sea turtle on the plastic bottle. So is the turtle in the video I'm seeing the same one in the photograph? It's the exact same turtle, yeah. Oh. Some years ago now, for sure. But uh, again, that's what's so neat about storytelling, is we can find ways to connect with audiences through the fine art, but also through the behind the scenes now that you're witnessing. Uh, and it's the technology that's allowing us to do this. Uh, today. As a photojournalist, we do get a chance to see, uh, see the world through a different lens. And very fortunate for that, those experiences. And we see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm constantly trying to remind myself and others that uh, there are still some amazing places left that we can celebrate and protect. And that's what this is about for me. Conservation is about protecting wild, wild places uh, that give us all a chance to uh, breathe clean air and uh, drink clean water and these sorts of things that, uh, that are ever so important. If you're interested in checking out Neil's photographs and that augmented reality component, the home exhibit is on at Berenson Fine Art Gallery until the end of the month.